Knowing how to create a KML or KMZ boundary in Google Earth is a useful process to know how to execute. This tutorial aims to show you how to create a boundary suitable for Aerotas line work quotes and for upload to MapPilot or another mapping software to aid you in your flight planning. Open up Google Earth Pro. Type in your desired location in the upper left hand toolbar and hit enter or click search. Once zoomed to your desired location, we can begin creating our polygon. There are two ways to create a polygon. The first and easiest way is to use the ruler tool located on the top toolbar. This is good for creating hard angles and straight lines around areas of interest. The second way is to use the polygon tool, also located on the top toolbar. This method is better if you want to create a more freeform shape. We will start by using the ruler tool to create a polygon. Click this and a window will pop up. From here, select the Polygon tab. Left click on the screen to drop points and create a rigid boundary. When you're done, simply click Save. A new window will pop up. Here you can change the name to match your project name and view and manipulate other aspects of the polygon such as the line thickness and color. When satisfied, click OK. You will now see on the left hand side of the screen that your new polygon is appearing in the Places section. The file is now saved in Google Earth, but it is not saved to your computer, which is important if you want to send it via email or upload. Before saving the file to the computer, I always like to verify that I'm saving the correct file. The file structure in Google Earth Pro can get pretty messy depending on how many other files you have opened in your current Google Earth session. To ensure you're only saving the polygon that you'd like, make sure to open all folders to expose this polygon shape next to your file name. To verify, simply toggle the checkbox next to the polygon on and off, and you should see your boundary turn on and off. Now simply right click the file and select Save As. Drop down the file type and select KML. It's best to save in KML because this file type is more versatile than the KMZ and can be opened up in MapPilot as mentioned previously. Now be mindful of the location it is saving to on your computer. I save my KMLs to my downloads. You can save them in their own folder or wherever is easiest for you. Now let's go over creating a KML using the Polygon tool. Click the Polygon tool and a window will pop up much like before where you can name your polygon and change the color of the lines and other features of the polygon. It's important to keep this window open while you create your polygon. Now click on the screen to drop points and connect them or to create a freeform shape, left click, hold and drag your mouse to create a shape. If you mess up, simply click cancel and start over again. Once finished with the shape, you'll notice that it may be defaulted to a solid polygon on the screen with no opacity. This is not ideal, as it makes the area of interest invisible. Click on the Style and Color tab in the Polygon window. Set the line color to your desired color, your width to around 3. This is a good width that will show up well with any color. When satisfied, click OK. Now you will notice your polygon has appeared on the left side of the screen. The procedures here are the same as with the ruler tool. Simply verify the polygon file and right click save as and you now have your KML file saved to your computer for sharing. After your files are saved to your computer, they're ready for upload to aerotoss.com quote for a quick and accurate line work quote or into MapPilot for flight boundary planning. 